How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, we have a new setup here. Rearranged a lot of things. It's been pointed out to me that the background was quite bland. So I mixed it up. Uh, also, this is round one for FNM. We got Connor on the right. And I apologize, I I don't know the person on the left. Uh, he looks like he's got a teammate there because there's definitely two people, so it's a little 2v1. And uh, Connor's on um, Dinosaurs, Naya. And the player on the left is on a kind of a burn red deck. But yeah, I got this, the background. That is a painting my dad did. That there is um, a Batman head my sister drew. It's a little cat that I drew. That's a poster from a famous YouTuber. This. I'm inverted here. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, It from the movie It. It's a poster below me. I have There's Star Wars there. Oh, and there's my uh, champion game day mat. It's Nissa from Aether Revolt. Or no, Kaldesh. Then there's my Madrid GP mat. There's Venom. I drew that. There's Carnage. You probably won't be able to see him. There's Venom again. There's the One Ring and the Eye of Sauron walking down the street, and that is Charizard. And then these here are my little medallions that uh, the store owner uh, in Real Games, which is what we're watching right now, uh, you know, he, he makes those for the top three of uh, pre-releases, so it's pretty sweet. And I haven't been paying attention to the game at all. Um, but it looks like the red deck, oh, it's red-blue. Excuse me, so it's Red Blue Tempo. He's playing Thriving Grubs. This is obviously like kind of, uh, you know, you know you're starting at F&M and m and you're, you're, you're understanding the idea of four of's. So he's got, a, I presume, four goblins in his deck, but I don't think it's going to be able to face up to the power of the Dinosaur deck. And while the Dinosaur deck is in Tier 1, it is pretty powerful when it's paired against a weaker deck like this. So, looks like he's going to use a spell, Savage Thump, uh, and it costs one less to play when it targets Dinosaur. And it's fight target creature and it gets plus one plus one. And since he fought, that means he dealt damage. So, Enrage triggers and he gets to draw a card. So, Connor's pretty far ahead here, even though he is behind on board. Um, player plays a Frontline Devastator, I think it was. It's from Arab Devastation. It's got a flick too. Sadly, it is not a Hazret, which is what you want to be playing for four mana at red. And uh, yeah, this game is this game is potentially over. Connor plays his sixth land there. He mustn't want to cycle it later on. And he's thinking he's gonna play. Another Ripjaw Raptor. That seems like a good decision. And then he's going to play a... Oh, he's going to play a second Savage Stomp. And he should draw a card off that. Unless it's deal damage. And then he wouldn't draw a card off it. But I think it's fight. And, uh... Yeah. This, this is what happens. So, to get out of this, he'd need to play... I mean, Hour of a Devastation wouldn't even do it. Also, I think that card costs 6 mana, and I only see 5. But I assume there's a mana off-screen that I can't see. There's a Rootbound Crab, com Root Crab coming in to play uh, untap late, late in the game. And Connor is the third Savage Stomp here, so this is just outrageous. I feel like I missed some light levels. Because I think the player on the left should be on uh, a little bit less. Uh, putting all the counters on the one dinosaur, I'm sure it doesn't matter. But in the general term, I'd probably spread them around a little bit. Just because of Vraska's Contempt, you know, if you're playing against blue-black, then... I don't know, I'd like to have a little bit of diversity. He's going to commune before the combat because he wants to see it find a Regisaur Alpha, which would be able to, you know, the, the token that it creates would be able to uh, swing in for damage. Looks like he's missed. No, uh, he's he's at a death gorge, death gorge scavenger. 
which is a pretty pretty decent hit. And he's got those hash up oases as oases is oasis. I don't know how to say that in the plural. Uh, that he could use to pump as well. But I mean, I don't think there's any combination of cards that uh, our player on the left can do to get out of this jam. He would need double arrow of devastation, I think. And then, even then, Connor would draw four cards from double enrage triggers off his uh, Ripjaw Raptors, so he'd still be in the game. And he gets the, uh, oh my god. I guess he flings him for one. I must have missed that. In the... Oh yeah. That, you see that, that speed at which he untapped? That's, uh... oh. Mm, he definitely said go to combat there. <laughs> no, he, he didn't say go to combat, but it's FNM, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is way too much damage to stop. And uh, what can you do? I mean, you're going to be overpowered. Looks like he's shown. Ooh, foil, foil god. Okay, it was like if it's a regular god, yeah, whatever. Foil, I can respect it. Look, I had this foil god. It was going to get me out of it. But uh, no, the foil god wasn't going to do anything there because his dinosaurs were way too big. He's going to need to get off to a really good start game too, and have like a lot of unsummons. That's the play, but I think I remember Connor having like an insane draw here. Possibly drove her into something nasty. Also, no co no co commentator this week. Um, you know which sucks, but trying to hold down the fort here. So island on the left, and pretty gas hand on the right. I think it's. Outback Huntmaster, Registrar Alpha, a Rootbound Crag, some, a couple of the lands. Uh, oh, it looks like there's a white border to land in there. I'm not sure I agree with that choice. So this is a 2-1, I think it's called Aether Chaser. 2-1 first strike when it comes into play, it gets 2 energy when it attacks. He can choose to pay 2 energy to create a 1-1 one -one servo. So, I, you know, it's a great card in Limited, but in the powerhouse of Standard, I don't think it's going to be doing that much unfortunately uh, he probably should pay two energy here to make a servo as well and he, he did he got rid of the dice and I think Connor's just gonna make the same play again yeah so definitely gonna fire some shots at Adam Davidson here I mean get your land game on point because he, he lent him the deck and he's got a full art Zendikar land, which I like, and then he's got a full, now, I think that's John Avon artwork, which I do like, but I mean, it's white-bordered, get out of here, get out of here, or at least if they're all, like, if, if they're white-bordered, you know, at least stand by your principles and make them all white-bordered, so, you know. Okay, and looks like, uh, Connor's reading Register Alpha, I think he hadn't played Standard in a long time, and, yeah, he's gonna be excited to play him, play that dinosaur for four mana and get seven power out of it, three of which is haste. And, well, actually, oh, my mistake, all of it has haste. Yeah, you should attack with both here for sure. Um, and I would either go no blocks or double block the 3-3 three, three token, and I wouldn't feel good about it. So I'd probably go no blocks. Um, oh, yeah, so anyway, let me know what you think of the background. They're probably making some changes to it, you know, get rid of, like, my crappy artwork, put in some, might buy some nice prints at uh, Madrid or online although i tried to find that online and it i don't know i was like magic the gathering artists uh prince and it was just like i couldn't find it but i'm sure i'm missing something incredibly obvious but i, I like it the way it is now for for now i mean we'll add to it we'll, we'll mix and match and change it the play mods will probably stay Ooh, here's a spicy one that's um uh samut the tested Ooh, that definitely triggers me uh, the player that is not in the game uh, is picking up Red Star Alpha and reading it. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, get out of there. Uh, 
Uh, looks like he some moves some minus ability to kill two creatures, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the Thriving Grubs isn't going to get it done here. Looks like he's a bit slow on the life totals here. Pretty sure this is GG's. He's on five, no cards in hand. I think he's just going to minus the smooth again. And, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, Ripjaw. He doesn't need to give it haste. Uh, because it already has haste from Registrar Alpha, but, you know, it's the first time playing the deck. I mean, it's it's barely a mistake because he's so far ahead. I mean, it's not even a mistake because he's so far ahead. He's going to give that double strike for good measure. And that's GG's. And there's the handshake. And thanks for watching, guys.